Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. So today starts the new season of Drilling Deeper in Deep Rock Galactic Season 5. Now, of course, that means there's a new cosmetic tree. There's new ranks. They'll give you new color schemes, new eyebrows, hair, beards, mustache, helmets, resources, and, of course, script which will go towards that cosmetic tree and new season challenges. Now, in addition to that, we also have, of course, here's the cosmetic tree, different weapon skins, different cosmetics, etc. Three new weapon skins for each weapon in the weapon maintenance. Get a rundown of the uh, introduction to Season 5, Drilling Deeper for Deep Rock Galactic here. And in addition to that, you can select a season from the previous seasons if you did not get everything from the cosmetic trees or ranking from one of those. But one of the main big changes or additions to Deep Rock Galactic is the Deep Scan, otherwise known as the Drillivator mission. So deep scan, uh, you see right on the right hand side, there's three scans and you have to play kind of like a hot and cold to see where it's at. On the left hand side, it shows uh, approximately how close you are. And don't forget about those new enemies that are going to be popping up uh, throughout the level. So once you get to where it is right on top of that, then you're just going to dig straight down and you'll know you're in the right spot because you'll dig into, uh, instead of dirt, it'll look like a rock or a geode. And that's how you know that you hit the right spot. And you should know already because you should be right on top of it just like that. And there we go, there it is. And once you get far enough down, uh, it should only take a couple pickaxe hits, uh, depending on how close you were to the center. And there we go. And just like several other types of objectives or events, this is something that you should be used to uh, by now. You find it, you call in scanning equipment, and then you have to attach it. So depending on where it drops, uh, make your way to wherever the scanning equipment is, to wherever that crystal is, and attach it. Uh, unlike the other ones though, when you set up the scanner, you don't have to sit there and babysit it and let it scan or anything like that. Once it's attached, you just go on to the next one. And of course, you'll have to do that again and again. Uh, depending on how many, how long the mission is will probably depend on how many uh, scans you'll have to do. But you'll have to do a minimum of two and, and uh, probably three. So there we go. Found the third one. We're going to call in the scanning equipment. If you're close enough, you'll be able to see it pop in or where it's going to pop in and then just attach it. And just like anything else, it does take a little bit of time uh, from when you call it in to when it shows up. Now, just like any of the other missions, you can go uh, solo with Bosco, or you can go with up to three other players, pre-made or match-made. It's your choice. Now, once you have all three set up like I do here, the drill evader is called in, and it's not called in on your location. It's called in uh, to a random location. So you have to make your way over to the drill evader. But once you get close enough, 
it's pretty hard to miss. So drilling elevator or drill evader. Now you might be saying, hey, I'm playing with a bunch of randoms. Um, you know, and, and two of them are scouts. They're just going to start it up as soon as they pop over there. Well, you can't start it up until all four or everyone, depending on how many people you have, are right there. So once everyone's there, you hit the button and you start it up. So they did think ahead. Uh, some people wanting to run ahead of everyone else. And then, of course, you would have to drop down, which would, of course, uh, unless you had jet boots, you'd be in trouble once it started up. Uh, now, once you start it up, of course, it makes a lot of noise, which, of course, brings in a whole bunch of enemies. And it's not a smooth... Uh, ride to the bottom you've got periods of time where it may stop for a couple of seconds uh, because it hits hard rock that it has to it takes a little bit longer to drill through and you're going to be inundated by enemies so even though the drill elevator may stop the enemies are going to keep on coming uh, additionally you're going to have to maintain the drill elevator so if you don't want it to stop for other reasons, you need to keep it maintained, which means that you have to keep it going. So all four of those uh, points that you use to start it up, the grippers, you'll need to keep them maintained, keep them working, and the uh, better maintain the the faster it goes marginally faster need to have at least a minimum number of them so you'll have this portion uh, which is not entirely battle but it also has other things as well so you'll have to keep maintaining it uh, just like you've done in the past with other objectives I keep the uh, equipment working so that you can get down to the bottom. Uh, you'll know that you're getting close when all of a sudden you get into a different zone and you'll notice it uh, and you'll you'll say okay now I'm getting down to this area and uh, how am I going to get out? Well we'll re uh, you know we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm sure Mission Control would say. Just keep on keeping on until you get to where you need to go. There we go. We pass through. And we're there. Alright, we got down here. Now the, uh, uh, quote, safety railing has been retracted, so now you can get to it. So you can go to each of these green nodes and crack them open and a uh, Morkite seed pops out. Now unlike a lot of other things, you they're small enough that you can pick it up and put it into your uh, you know gem pocket. So if you're solo right Bosco's not going to pick it up for you. Uh, you have to actually pick those up by yourself. So there's several pits. So you're going to need to use your traverse tools depending on what job class you come into this mission. You're going to uh, need to traverse these pits because uh, each one will have anywhere from one to four of these Morkite seeds. And you don't want to stay down here too long because you will have enemies coming after you. And it's not a great uh, defensible position no, to, to be walk. in. So pick them up. We need seven. You can get more than that. There's going to be or should be more than seven in uh, this area. But you need seven. And you need to drop it into the mule. So you can see in the bottom center how many seeds that I've picked up personally. And then just drop them in the mule. 
And then once you have seven, then you can uh, make your way out. All right, so we've got another pit over here. Break it open, pick it up, and there we go. Now we just get out of the pit. And there's actually an eighth here. You don't get a bonus for extra ones, just like the... Point extraction. You only need seven. Anything else is a bonus to the company, not to you. So you go back to the drill elevator, pick up a jetpack, and get out. You'll have to do it in a series so it doesn't overheat. So when it gets towards the top, lay off the, the jets, let it cool off, and then make your way out. There you go. As soon as you make your way out, then you've got the drop pod showing up. And of course, the mule's going to make its way out. But it will take a while, so you will need to defend or run around in order to uh, make it out. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Launched. Better stand back. Resupply arrived! Go restock! Here! Have some extinction! Shield charged and ready. Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. Shield! Galactic thanks you for your good work. Drop pod will leave with or without you. Shield charge! Retrieving escape pod.